Hey everyone, welcome. We are going to be talking about pricey products that are definitely worth the money today in this video. And you should know that this top is going to annoy me no end. I'm going to be pulling at it and I'm going to be trying to fix it up all the time. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about uh, products that I think are worth the money. I think there are lots and lots of products out there where you can definitely buy sort of a cheaper alternative and it works just as well and that I not necessarily regret purchasing or spending my money on, but I think there are definitely alternatives out there that are just as good, if not better. The things I want to talk about today are things that I've bought. Yeah, I've definitely uh, purchased all of these and they are things that I have no problem purchasing again if the need arises uh, because I think that they are well, well worth the money. Already so annoyed with this top. I don't know how people wear them all day. I just find that I'm playing with them all day and like, Cool. First thing that we'll talk about is this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette and it contains a bronzing, slightly kind of contoury shade. It is on the warm side but not as warm as a lot of other bronzers. And then a highlighter. Um, I purchased this because there was so much hype about it. I thought, oh, it has to be great. Everybody's talking about it. And um, I was like, oh, when it arrived, I was like, oh, it's kind of like a little lackluster. But on the cheeks, this looks beautiful. It's so smooth. And the highlighter is perfect for every day. And it also really can work to, I wouldn't say it's blinding, but it's definitely like one of those glowy lit with from within kind of products. The um, contour slash bronzer there is also just stunning. It blends in so well. It's a little bit sheer, so you can really like cater to your own needs and build it up if you want to, but also just sort of leave it sheer for everyday use. So this is one that I would definitely repurchase when it runs out because it is going to run out because I'm using it really like quite heavily. Um, and I have absolutely no regrets about this one. The next one was a little bit of a late addition because I was a little conflicted over this one because I have to tell you that the NARS Wanted palette is one of my favourite palettes in my entire collection. However, some of their palettes, like the recently Ignited palette, um, weren't my favourite. I think they blend really well, but I think the colour selection in that one wasn't the best. But generally I want to tell you that NARS shadows are fantastic. The mattes in particular are so so blendable and the colour schemes usually are very very wearable. Like this one you could just create so many looks from it. It's got a beautiful green there, these beautiful like really super shimmery uh, lid colours and then like I said the mattes are unbeatable. So I've never played with the duos and stuff like that. I've only ever played with the palettes or purchased the palettes and I would 100% if it was possible and I ran out of this one, I would repurchase this palette. It is beautiful. Uh, second NARS product for the video are the Power Mattes from NARS. I think all of NARS lip products are phenomenal, but if I had to choose one, it was a it was a, mm, almost a draw between the Audacious lipsticks and these. These won because of the absolute like astounding pigmentation and also because of how long wearing they are. So I typically won't wear these two days in a row so because I don't want to dry my lips out but they are one of the most long wearing liquid lipsticks on the market and they've got this great uh, applicator which gets in like I don't even need a liner with these and they just last all day. The colour is intense. It's just they're just fabulous. Um, a few people went sort of nuts over when I was wearing this one which is uh, you're no good on Instagram the other day. They loved it and I also really really love it. A product that I have continued to purchase, so this is my unused set, uh, but this is my third set of these. These are the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour sticks. They're a pencil. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is I would love if they were like a retractable kind of product, but they are a regular pencil and they're so so blendable. So in the set, which is quite pricey, you get a contour, a bronze shade and then a highlight shade. It's not like a glowy highlight, Highlight, more like a um, like contouring highlight so these are just beautiful they're so great to bring with you on the road and in fact I've traveled with them so many times and like I said this is my third set I purchased these ones they're in the drawer the ones that I'm currently using are looking really smashed up so uh, I thought I'd show you these ones because I skipped out on the NARS audacious lipstick I thought I would show you something similar which I also think is completely worth the money. This one is bougie. This is the Marc Jacobs La Creme lipsticks. These cover the lips like nothing else. Look at this. I've used that uh, quite a lot. They're fantastic. Um, I really, really like how smooth they are, how buttery they are. And, but they're also like, they're this lovely matte finish, but they're not drying at all. So I've got quite a few shades of this one. 
I believe all but one were purchased by myself and I absolutely adore everything about them. A product that I have recently come back to and I don't even know why I stopped using it. I think it's just because I had so many other products, but this is a product that I, over the years, have purchased again and again and again uh, in one format or another. So this is the Clinique Moisture Surge. This one here is the 72 um, hour order replenishing hydrator but any of the um, those gels that are in the um, moisture surge collection are phenomenal um, yeah so these are fantastic the texture is so so light and uh, your skin just feels amazing after using it and also a few hours so like on into the day your skin just continues to feel amazing so from Clinique the moisture surge collection anything that you buy whether it's a spray whether it's the different types of gels Highly recommend. Okay, so there are a lot of imitators on the mar in the market, but I feel like these are the best, and I feel like everyone should have at least one of these in their collection. These are from Stila. They're the uh, Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metals. I kind of tried to change the name around a little bit, but these are the Glitter and Glows. Uh, I have one on today on my lids. They just are so, so beautiful and shiny. They add really like, without a doubt, they're the easiest way to use glitter in your um, routine without having fallout and mess and having to use like a glitter glue they're just again they're phenomenal I would purchase well I have purchased quite a few of these and I would continue to purchase them because they're just a beautiful product that is well worth the money so if you've ever seen any one of my empty videos you'll see that I go through this very very quickly this is the prep and prime fix plus from Mac this one here is in the recent like cherry whatever it is bloom collection um, so I use this for setting my makeup and just bringing some glow back to my face after using powders I use this to refresh my makeup throughout the day I use this to um, turn my uh, pigments into like a shadow um, it just it just does whatever you need it to do it's essentially a glycerin spray but uh, I feel like I just can't go without this so uh, lots and lots of sprays on the market this is one that I always go back to I just think it's beautiful so we're almost at the end the ninth product I wanted to talk about uh, was this one uh, I have so many highlighters but I always come back to the originals and the classics and this is Becca's opal so I feel like Becca really kind of change the way that we use these sort of highlighters they're so so smooth they're so pigmented but also so wearable opal is one of those colors that just looks brilliant on almost every single skin color uh, or skin tone it's quite it's warm but it's not too warm it's not going to show up sort of muddy on your skin and it's also as far as i know with my friends it doesn't show up ashy either this is one that i recommend that everyone tries out you can even just see the reflection in the pan it's just a beautiful product it's a beautiful shade it's a beautiful formula and lucky last on 10 products that I think are completely worth the money are the fragrances from Guerlain uh, particularly the Aqua Allegria ones I think they're so beautiful they've got this amazing freshness about them and I find that this uh, line of perfumes really lasts on me quite a long time you do pay a bit of money for them um, but look at the packaging uh, with the lid on I should put it on um, the packaging is just beautiful it's got this kind of honeycomb bee kind of motif going on with it they're just so fresh and so beautiful and like I said really long wearing on me all right so there we go there are 10 pricey products that I think are well worth the money I have no problem spending my money on these products because I think they really stand the test of time a lot of these products that I have I've been using for a really long time and I continue to repurchase in different shades or whatever uh, I would love to know what are products that you don't mind splurging on and if you disagree with any of these uh, products in my video because I'd love to hear some alternatives that you think are just as good as these but otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye